How does Christ make us more righteous than a Pharisee? Christ died to fulfill the law, not to abolish it. He died to cover our sins in his blood and to circumcise our sin nature to keep us from sinning anymore. He imputes his righteousness upon us to mitigate us from sinning any longer. As long as we're willing and obedient to his entire word, he'll help us out along the way through his grace and mercy. He didn't die just so you could keep ordering Chinese pork takeout. God didn't create us to eat pigs. He didn't create them for us to eat either. From the beginning, there was a distinction between clean and unclean animals, God allowed for sacrifice and consumption. God and Jesus have never considered unclean animals food, nor did Paul. All of Paul's doctrines reconcile to Christ, but many people have misinterpreted his doctrines. God did ratify a lot of the Mosaic law through his covenant in Christ, including animal sacrifices because Jesus is the last one true eternal spotless lamb sacrifice, and instead of circumcising our loins, he circumcises the sin nature out of us, and he also converted all the temple service laws toward Christ because the body of Christ is the third spiritual temple. It says in 1 John 2 and 3 that anyone who keeps breaking God's commandments and laws are unrighteous. It says in the Bible all sin is breaking one of God's commandments or laws. Anyone who keeps going against God's creation and the way he made things to be is unrighteous. Christ died to free us from the curse of the punishment under the law to free us from not being able to resist breaking the law. We are supposed to be righteous, law-abiding citizens in the government of the kingdom of God through Christ's righteousness. Jesus told us to be more righteous than the Pharisees, who provided no mercy and grace. Christ was the fulfillment of God's mercy and grace. The Pharisees, however, were unforgiving and even added their traditions and oral laws on top of God's laws acting as the authority, or beyond and above God. God judges us by the heart. If we are not truly trying to be righteous above God's laws, he may judge us under the law, without any mercy or forgiveness. Today the church is more tolerant of sin than it ever has been. All sin stems from the root of pride and going against the way God created things to be. God does not tolerate sin or unrighteousness, but God provides grace and mercy through Christ for those who do repent or are trying to live a life of repentance by picking up their cross daily, those truly trying to understand God's word with godly remorse. God allows us to make righteous judgments by telling others to repent after we ourselves have repented. Don't confuse us being the judge, jury, or executioner. That's God's job. If someone is living in sin, we must tell them to repent. And if they don't listen, they should be kicked out of the church until they do repent, just as Paul stated about those living in adultery. Many people are tolerating others in the church willfully living in sin, justifying their behavior by preaching blind love and acceptance. After their sin has been exposed and called out, if and when they repent, we should welcome them back in like the wayward son and not deny them like a Pharisee. This is how Christ intends us to be more righteous than the Pharisees. God and Jesus can provide unlimited grace, but that's only contingent upon true intent, godly remorse, and repentance. But we must not keep denying him or grieving his Holy Spirit of truth, claiming things from God or from the devil, or trying to become like God or better than him. A servant can never transcend his master when it comes to our Heavenly Father, but we can be like his son. You have to understand that the spirit of lawlessness is against Christ. It is the spirit of the Antichrist. God gifted us his son, his word, and has sacrificed his key of truth. When we copy Christ, we ourselves fit into the lock of God's door, gaining unlimited access to the Father and his house by living the way God and Christ always intended us to live.